Hey, everybody. Yes, I'm still under the weather, but I had to get on here for a friend. She wanted to mention, she was talking about family and talking about how people take stuff for granted for Thanksgiving when they come over to people's houses and, and they don't really bring anything. And you have to do all this cooking and spending all of your money. And people really don't appreciate it. So, you know, I want people to be thankful and I want them to be appreciated as well. When you go to people's houses for Thanksgiving, you know, some people don't know the golden rules. So we kind of came up with a little solution. And I'm going to tell you, this is just... I don't want to step on any toes, but this is just for entertainment purposes only. But you can take it however you want. To. You know what I'm saying? It's neither here nor there. <laughs> okay. Hey. Rule number one. <laughs> don't show up to somebody's house empty-handed, honey. Bring something. Either you bring a, a dish some drinks or something. Bring something. Because the host had to spend their money to cook you this meal. Then you need to bring something yourself. Rule number two. If you know you got bad ass kids. I'm just saying. I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But if you know you got bad ass kids. Don't be letting them kids go in nobody's kitchen trying to fi fix their plates. You fix their plate. I mean, I'm just saying. Come on now. Anyway, fix your kids' plates and sit them where they need to be set. And uh, you fix your plate. And then you move on out of that kitchen. Okay, and rule number three. If you are in charge of bringing paper plates, condiments, like flatware, plasticware, whatever you want to call it. Don't be bringing that cheap, cheap stuff. I mean, if you have to just bring paper plates, come on now. Spend a little money on some decent paper plates, forks, spoons, napkins, whatever, okay? If the host had to spend money, then, hey, you can spend money too. It ain't going to hurt you getting a meal because if you go to a restaurant, you're going to be spending more than that. Rule number four, honey. Don't show up to someone's house. Saying, when we gonna eat? I'm hungry. I'm diabetic. I need to eat. Well, guess what? You passed by several eating places when you was on your way over to that person's house. You should have stopped and got you something to snack on before you got there. And if you can't stop, then you need to snack on something at home. I know your refrigerator got something in it. Anyway, that's just crazy. When we gonna eat? I'm diabetic. I got to eat something. Well, guess what? You going to wait till everybody else eat. Ain't no exceptions. Rule number five. <laughs> when people say dinner starts at two, this is CP time. We really mean five, okay? Mm. So don't be going up in there thinking you're going to eat on time. Because nine times out of ten, the food ain't going to be ready. I'm just going to be I'm just gonna be honest with you. Shoot. Sure. People be procrastinating when they be trying to cook stuff. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Rule number six. <laughs> Make sure you eat whatever you put on that plate. And I mean, don't be going and getting no seconds unless you got that plate clean. Because ain't nobody trying to sit up there and you piling food up on your darn plate and you ain't even ate the food that you got. Mm. Be respectful. Rule number seven, <laughs> if you have a drink preference, be sure you bring your own drinks. Buy you some drinks. Don't be going and complaining about what the host has. If the host just got lemonade or Kool-Aid or whatever, that's what you're going to drink. Or you just drink some water and keep it, keep it moving, baby. Keep it moving. Because, hey, you know what you like to drink. You should bring it and stop complaining. <laughs> Rule number eight. Don't be asking people, who cooked this? Who cooked that? 
I don't eat everybody's cooking. Well, guess what? It's none of your business who cook what. If you there to eat, you eat what you want and then leave the rest to somebody else. Don't worry about what somebody else did or what who cooked what. It's not your business. Deal with it. <laughs> and rule number nine, don't be packing up plates until everybody has had their food and the host tell you, okay, it's okay for you to pack a plate if you like. But until they tell you, you ain't packing jack, okay? You're going to sit there, enjoy yourself. If your belly is full, that's all that matters. Because wait, if you go to a restaurant, you ain't going to be packing up no plates. You're going to eat what the, they bought you out, and you're going to pay for what, what you bought. You ain't going to be packing up nothing, nothing extra. So stop acting like you uh don't don't have no sense. Packing up everything. You just need to leave that alone. And sit still and just enjoy yourself and don't be worried about all that. Okay? And rule number nine. Oh, I'm sorry. Rule number ten. Let me go. I'm sorry, y'all. Hmm. Rule number ten. Hmm. If you have a food addiction, if you don't be sitting near the food. Because that's just going to lead you to eat more and more. And, and you ain't going to be able to control yourself. So you might need to move somewhere across the room. So you won't be snacking all night. Okay? I'm just saying. Rule 11. <laughs> this is for you drinkers. Now, you know it's alcohol in the house. If you didn't bring no Ciroc or no Grey Goose. And you just bought some beer. Or whatever. And you know you really didn't really didn't bring nothing, but here you trying to have you a liquor buffet. Uh uh, no, ain't gonna be none of that either. Cause guess what? If you go to a bar, you have a two drink minimum, and most of the time you'll sip on that one drink, make it last longer than that. Don't be going to folks' houses drinking up everything you see in sight. That's just so rude. Anyway, keep the keep the drinks down to a minimum. You know you gotta drive home so you don't want to be getting all drunk and stuff and can't drive you can't drive home so just be mindful hold your liquor and don't drink as much <laughs> all right rule number 12 this is for all you dessert lovers <laughs> don't be hiding no potato pies okay make sure you let everybody eat what's there okay and also, don't be if you if you are supposed to be bringing a dessert, don't be going to these grocery stores and getting it off of those half price racks, them day old cakes and them day old or week old cookies and stuff. Get something fresh. At least you could be that nice and bring something fresh to the to the the dinner. And don't be bringing no no stuff that's been marked down. That's just rude. Don't do that. Don't do that. Make sure you bring some good desserts, too. And don't be trying to pack up all the desserts, either. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, I'm just going to be honest. Thanksgiving dinner, you should charge a cover. And I'm going to break it down by menu. All right. <clears throat> and also, if you can't cook, don't bring nothing. Just bring some... Some like buy something from the store. Don't be bringing nothing. All right, this is the menu price: mac and cheese, four dollars. That's for kids. Six dollars for adults. <clears throat> if you want dressing with gravy and turkey, <laughs> that's ten dollars. <laughs> Potato salad, four dollars. Okay. All right, greens. That's gonna be four dollars. That's a serving size. Okay. Cornbread gonna be two dollars, okay? Mm -hmm. But it might come with the meal, but that's two two dollars for us extra pieces, okay? And also candy yams four dollars, <laughs> ham ten dollars, okay? Smoked turkey ten dollars, yeah, you gotta get that smoked too. And also string bean casserole four dollars, that's a side dish. And uh cranberry sauce, if you get extra, it's gonna be fifty cents per scoop. Mm hmm. And that's going to be it for me. I ain't going to... Oh, mashed potatoes going to be $4 too. Anyway, have a good one. Bye.